In the previous video, you saw that it is important to align online and offline activities. You need to think which activities will take place in the classroom and which activities will take place online. In this video, we will take a look on how this can be done. One of the most important reasons to start blended learning is to spend the time with your students in another way. Instead of lecturing, you can start interacting. But before you can start interacting, you need to move the presentation out of the classroom time and use the classroom time differently. As you can imagine, this reshuffles your learning activities. So it is very important to think about the sequence of your activities. You need to determine which activities will take place online and which activities will be in the classroom. First, you need to think about the activities which can be moved outside of the lecture. Presentations is mostly sending of information. There isn't a lot of interaction, except perhaps for a single question from the audience. By moving this online, you free up time in your classroom. This time can be spent on answering questions of students, help them with exercises, lab work or an excursion. This way the classroom time is much more valuable for your students. So think about your activities and how your face-to-face -face time is most useful for your students. The second thing you need to think about is activities need to follow up on each other. When students watch a video on a specific topic, it is important that the follow-up activity build upon that knowledge. So it would not be wise to have a lecture on the same subject. It is better to dive into the materials by practicing and applying the knowledge. This can be done by classroom discussion, peer instruction with clickers or other activities. Let's look at an example. For the Master Annotation Railway Engineering, the faculty developed six blended courses. The idea of this approach was that the face-to-face -face time was used for interaction and the application of knowledge. Each of these courses has a similar week structure. In the beginning of each week, the students needed to prepare the face-to-face -face session. This was done online. For example, they needed to watch a video, read a chapter of the book, and answer the questions of an online quiz. The face-to-face -face meeting was for interaction and applying the knowledge. The students and the teacher discussed the answers of the online quiz, and they did peer instruction with clickers. After this meeting, the students went home and they did some calculations and read another chapter in the book. In the second teaching session, they discussed the calculations and the teacher gave an in-depth lecture. When we look at these activities, we see that they follow up on each other. The face-to-face -face time is used for interaction. It is necessary to come together, otherwise these learning activities could not take place. All the other activities were placed online. And also notice the sequencing of the activities. The students shifted from just reading and watching information to discussion and interactions. A couple of remarks. Only watching a video or reading a chapter is not enough. Make sure that there is always a follow-up activity. Only reading or watching is consuming media. Students need to actively process the knowledge they acquired. So make sure that they make a quiz, make a summary, come up with questions about the material, or do some other additional activity. Another remark, don't overfeed your students with activities. It is very tempting to let your students watch videos, let them summarize an article, let them make a quiz, and let them create videos by themselves. However, students only have a certain amount of time for the course. Make sure that all the activities fit in the time the students have for the course. So, to summarize, the sequence of activities is very important. Think about which activities you want to do face-to-face -face and which activities can be moved online. And make sure that the activities build upon each other. This way you will use your time as optimal as possible.